Hello you guys, how are you? I hope you're keeping healthy out there. So today I'm excited as always because I am going to look at this beautiful 24 year old actress Maud Apatow and find out if she's using the correct skincare. Now she has just shared her everyday skincare routine with the Vogue series Beauty Secrets so we're going to have a look and see what we think. But before I go on, my name is Joni. Welcome to my channel, Joni Loves. Please could you hit that subscribe button and that bell. That would be so cool. Now, as I said, Mode is 24. And let's have a look and see what you think. Is she using the right products for her skin type? Hi, I'm Maude Apatow. And this is my everyday skincare routine and red lip makeup look. First, I'll take this headband. So I'll get my hair wet. I'll sub this cat makeup bag first we'll start just love the headband and that bag i want them <laughs> so cute she is a cutie pie isn't she start with cleanser then i'll use hmm, interesting we didn't see what cleanser she's using but she was very gentle with her skin i like that very much remember always light pressure when you're cleansing your skin that's a must and she pat it gently dry so tick tick mode that's good a good start when I started working and wearing more makeup, my skin got a lot worse. So I needed to come up with a routine. And this one I've used like all through shooting Euphoria and it's worked. Except for this last week when I broke out. I definitely- Oh, dear, dear, dear. <laughs> so let's have a look at the toner. She's mentioning there about she's wearing makeup and that's what she she's prone to breakouts. She thinks because of the the makeup she's got to wear every day while filming. I have to say that the only reason you would break out with makeup, because makeup generally doesn't cause breakouts, it doesn't. What will cause it if you're wearing um, a primer and then on top of that, or before that rather, a moisturiser and then the makeup on top of that and then face powder, it may be too many layers. I find that some people when they cut the primer out, it isn't as bad, they won't block up their skin and it depends on your skin type as well. If you've got a oily combination acne type skin, that's when you really have to be careful. You're not putting too many layers on. Makeup itself shouldn't cause any issues with your skin. The trick is to make sure the makeup is taken off properly. And that is a clue here. You know, when you come home from your filming or your work, make sure you cleanse your skin with a face and eye makeup remover. Take that off first and then double cleanse your skin before you go to bed at night. Make sure you do that properly, not leaving any makeup on your skin and then apply your serums, your moisturizers, your eye creams and let the skin do its repair work during the night. Um, but she's, you know, she's had this breakout here. The other thing as well is, um, don't be leaning on your face as mode doing that when she's filming because you know your hands are everywhere they're on your phone they're on your desk they're, they're on your laptop and everywhere has got bacteria on it and then you touch your face no 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 so this is the thing you've got to do never touch your face unless you're applying your lotions and potions no 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 don't touch your don't lean on your face no i'm showing you just now but it's not good to do that get out of that habit and you'll stop the breakouts. Not to pick my skin because it spreads. Like I never believed that when people told me that and then I learned that if I popped it, they, they travel and that's probably what happened here. I'll go. <gasps> dear, dear, dear. So this is the thing, never pick your spots. They, that will scar you. You will get a, a, a little scar, a pit scar from that. You can't do that. No, 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 no. Never pick your spots. Apart from giving yourself a scar, it will spread the infection. Now, having a look at the toner she was using. So she's cleansed her skin. Looked That looked all fine. I wish I knew which cleanser it was. And then she's used this Obagi Medical New Derm Toner, $43. Not cruelty free. I'm going to say that first. Okay, so let's have a look at the ingredients. And as you know, I am not a fan of toners. I think they're a waste of money. Yes, I've said that, they're a waste of money. So let's have a look at this. So a Badgy Medical New Derm Toner. Second ingredient is witch hazel water. Now, this is what you need to know. Witch hazel water is witch hazel plus alcohol, right? That's what that means. And that is drying to the skin. Number three. Fourth ingredient is potassium alum, which is astringent and that can also be a skin irritant. 
So to me, in the top five ingredients, there's two ingredients here that are high up, high percentages that are not good for skin, okay? Because they will dry the skin out. And I'm going to tell you about this because if you dry your skin out, even if it's oily acne skin, if you dry it out, the skin will fight back and push more oil out. That's what can happen here. So I'm not keen on this. It's like you like that feeling that the astringent feeling, oh, that feels really good. And she's pat it all over her skin. But no, I'm. this will not be good. This will not help at all. And it's an old fashioned formula. There is glycerin in it at number 10 ingredient, but number 10, nevertheless, there is perfume in this as well. Not happy about that. I think it's an old fashioned formula that will cause your skin to dry out too much, make it more sensitive and perhaps more oily, okay? Obagi is a skincare line that got started in 1988, for heaven's sake, right? This is not probably, a, this is, you know, an old formula. And it was started by Beverly Hills dermatologist, Dr. Zain Obagi. And I have met Zain and I have listened to him in webinars and he is seminars. He is really, really good at treating acne type skin and all about chemical peels, right? And I know that and he, he really does focus on those types of things. He has now, I don't know what year it was, but he has left Obagi Medical. He, he no longer um, is part of that company. But the way that it's sold, I quite think it's, I think it's funny because having owned beauty salons and spas myself um, you're only allowed to sell a badge of medical through these spas and medical places medical clinics and you know it gives it some what was the word for it cash that it's it makes this line sound really really good oh you can only buy these in a clinic you can only buy these in a spa okay it might give it more exclusivity this feel to it bullshit that's all i'm saying so I don't like this toner. No, no, no. So let's look at the next one. This is a moisturizer. Our skin's pretty dry, so I'd try and use. So our skin's pretty dry, and she's just used a drying toner. Mode for heaven's sake! Listen to your auntie Joni. Moisturizer. I'll go and use some. So she put moisturizer on. You know, it's like doing one thing, dry it up, then put a moisturizer on. Oh my god! No. Mm -mm. She was better cleansing skin really nicely. She was doing that well and then putting a the moisturizer on or a serum would be pretty cool to put on even, you know, something with niacinamide in it with that, you know, acne issue, niacinamide. I still like, you know, vitamin C serums as well for that type of skin, I do. But the niacinamide and the vitamin C together would be pretty cool to use on that skin type. Just saying. This is Obagi Medical IDR Intense Daily Repair Exfoliating and Hydrating Lotion. It's 75 bucks. Now, funny thing is, this is Susan Obagi, MD, daughter of Zain Obagi, who's got a collab with the company that her dad left. Talk about keeping it in their family. <laughs> so let's have a look at the ingredients here. And there is a lot, 34 ingredients in this hydrating lotion. That's a lot, isn't it? So as you know, I always say to you, look at the top 10 ingredients. In this case, I've looked at the top 12 mainly. The second ingredient is namoline. The third ingredient is gluconolactone, no, gluconolacto <laughs> which is this PHA, a polyhydroxy um, acid, which is really good. This polyhydroxy are gentler than alpha hydroxy acids. So they're good as exfoliants for sensitive skin. So that's a tick there. Then lactobionic acid, which is another polyhydroxy acid, a PHA, and it's like a sister of the previous one. I think that's pretty good as well as an exfoliant. That's number four ingredient. Then it's got glycerol, steri, emollient, glycerine, ding ding, humectant and moisturizer. Emollient, then shea butter emollient. Then it's got, let me see what else it's got. This 12 is dimethicone, which is a emollient that makes skin feel silky soft and helps soften scar tissue, right? So the top ingredients here, the top 12 are pretty good ingredients. They really are, I like this. What are the pros to this? The pros to this hydrating lotion for me. You know, she's putting on a lotion which is hydrating and it's got this smoothing effect. So I think this lotion is actually quite good for aging because it's going to smooth the high, the polyhydroxy acids will smooth the skin in a gentle fashion. They will. And that helps to also hydrate the skin. So I quite like this. 
Um, it's alcohol free, it's saying yes it is, it's fragrance free, it's essential oil free, <laughs> good, and paraben free, I like this, but it's not cruelty free. Mm. I think this is a good list of ingredients, so I'm going to say that I quite like the ingredient list in this to resurface the skin and minimise the pores, so I think this is quite a good choice for her. Um, I like it and I think it's worth a look at. If it doesn't bother you about the cruelty free thing, then it's worth a look at for you. Eye masks. I'll use this Shantikai face roller and I love it. Right, quickly, the eye mask, Jewel Dempsey um, Hydrating Eye Mask um, is 75 bucks, not cheap. If you like an eye mask though, I've looked at the ingredients in this, the ingredients are good. Um, what it's got in it, the interesting one, I won't go through them all, but it, there's lots of humectants in this, antioxidants, I like I like this, this eye mask, I do. Um, what it's got in it, number 13, it's got a prebiotic, um, alpha glucon oligosaccharide, that's a prebiotic, and they're using that idea to sell this product, but it's number 13 on the list, which is a bit annoying for me that it's not higher up. But this prebiotic actually gives the upper layer skin beneficial bacteria that causes a hydrating effect for the skin barrier. So I quite like that, um, interesting. I think it's worth a go. If you like eye masks, I think these eye masks are worth a go. You can use them again. I know they're 75 bucks. Um, for the eye masks. I don't know how many you get in the box, but they are reusable. I did Google that bit. <laughs> so it's not all lost, that $75. Definitely when I'm working, my skin gets a lot worse. And it's taken me a long time to figure out products that don't make me break out. And even still, like I think it's just wearing so much makeup for so many hours and reapplying it and reapplying it, it just gets like, it's so hard not to break out. The one big- Oh, that's interesting. So she just said, and I, I do get it now, about the makeup, if it's reapplied and reapplied. So she's got makeup done whatever time in the morning and then they just pat it on again. That is not good if it's patted on again. No, I can understand then why it would cause breakouts, definitely. This is one of the things that annoys me as well, but makeup brushes, is the makeup artist that's working on mode, is she or he cleaning their makeup brushes, you know, between whoever they're working on? I think I'm paranoid about makeup brushes. You need to keep them clean, don't you? So, but that would explain the breakouts a bit more to me because it's been packed onto oily skin that there's makeup already onto. Mm, although she says she's got dry skin, combination here combination i think so she's using this um lovely 150 quid <laughs> um advanced bio lifting massage tool shantikai i think that's how you pronounce it this is another nice expensive beauty tool isn't it to lift the contours of your face at 24 you don't need to lift the contours of your face at 24 no 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 but it's got a cooling effect that maybe she likes it's got a small um solar panel you can see it just we're above her finger there and it helps a microcurrent to come through. I think that's amazing. There's a solar panel on this. Is that why it's 150 bucks? Who knows? Is anyone out there trying this? I'd love to know your thoughts because I quite like the idea of it. I have to say, I have to say, I do like the idea of it, but is it worth the money? Hmm. The thing I learned though is making sure all of your makeup's off at the end of the day. Because I'm going to do a red lip, I'll do a lip scrub. Here's the Charlotte Tilbury lip scrub. My mom is super into skincare. She's always had like a million products and she's always trying different things. Whereas I like have a few products and I just stick with the same couple. But my I have mentioned her mum, have I, or have I? Her mum, Leslie Mann, who is this beautiful actress. I do like her. She was made famous, I think, in the Cable Guy movie, which was brilliant. And she also likes skincare, and maybe she's given her daughter a few tips. But let's talk about the lip scrub. Do you need a lip scrub? Now, I know that everybody's into the big lips now. <laughs> I've always had... A, she always say that she always had the big lips, um, but you know, I know that they're really you, you know lip fillers are big now and plump lips and all that, you know this kind of idea. And when lips are so focused, you want them to look great. But do you need to use a lip scrub? This lip scrub, Charlotte Tilbury's, twenty eight bucks. 
I think it's okay. It's got jojoba seed oil, emollient, it's got shea butter in it, that's all right. It's got cocoa seed butter, it's, it's got emollient, and then it's got silica in it, which is a scrubby bit in it. It's got vitamin E number 11, it's all right. Um, I always worry about when I see dry lips, is that person drinking enough water? So this is a thing, have you got, are you drinking enough water? Because dry lips are a sign of you're, you're not hydrating enough. Okay, I'm going to point that out. What I think as well is, I don't use a lip scrub personally, right? I think you have to be very careful about lip scrubs because I read some of the reviews on this one and generally it's a 4.3, I think, stars, and it seems okay. But I'm always worried that if you've got dry lips that you, you go in too harsh and you tear it more and it's not good, you then end up with an infection. I don't like that. So I think it's better to, one, make sure your water intake is up. Number two, always remember to moisturise your lips the way that you moisturise your face and neck. Moisturise all over, right? Don't forget that. And if you've got hydrating serums, okay, put your hydrating serums there as well. I'm, I'm all for that, 100%. So moisturise, hydrating serums, drink water. But, you know, you can have nice a nice lip balm. If you get a nice cheap lip balm, do that, put that over. And I know that the old favourite people like, they do like putting some, a little dot of Vaseline over the area. You know, whatever you can use, you don't need to spend that amount of money on a lip scrub. You really don't. Just if you keep it moisturised in the first place, drink the water, it shouldn't, they shouldn't get too dry. They shouldn't. But I know that lips are in and some of you will be thinking, oh, Jonah, I couldn't live without my lip scrub. Well, but each to her own, I just think, um, it will save you 28 bucks if you don't buy it. Like really good at makeup and skincare and really into that. She's like amazing at it. And I think my mom and I learn most of the makeup tricks and skincare tricks for my, my younger sister. I'll put the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Lip Oil. This stuff's so good. I have to say that um, you know, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Lip Oil, selling those two things together. The lip oil is 36 bucks, okay? And I've looked at the ingredients, they really are good. They're full of emollients, full of antioxidants, and I do think, and Charlotte Tilbury is cruelty free. So Joni likes that. So I do quite like the lip oil idea. It is 36 bucks if you want to do that. I'm quite happy with you using that. There's nothing in that that aggravates me at all. Um, so I would say if you're going to buy something, the lip oil, the yeah, sounds good. Great name, Magic Lip Oil, isn't it? It's going to give you magic lips. Next, I'll use some sunblock. So let's just have a chat about that. She finished off with the sunblock, okay? And this is the Viderm, VI, VI stands for Vitality Institute, this brand. They have an SPF 50 daily UV defense broad spectrum sunscreen and it's 40 bucks. Right, let's have a chat once more about sunscreens. It has got a really good ingredient in it and that's the only good thing about this one. It's got zinc oxide, 10% zinc oxide, which is my favorite sun in sunscreen ingredient. 100%, but it's got a baddie in it, octinoxate. Now, I'm going to say this, it's got 7.5% octinoxate in it. Now, this is it, okay? There is several sunscreen ingredients that have been banned in a number of countries. Hawaii, I think it was Hawaii the first. Hawaii was probably the first. It banned anything that affects the coral reef and our sea creatures, okay? and it has banned any, this is one of them, octinoxate, a number of them, but this is one of them that it's banned in 2018. Okay, we're in 2022 now. We should be all looking at stuff to save the planet, to help ourselves recycle all of these things, natural products, everything. We should be looking at all of these ideas and thinking, what can we do to help our planet and the environment? Don't you agree? Don't you agree? So this is not reef friendly because of this octinoxate and that's what aggravates me. We really shouldn't be buying anything that's not reef friendly. I'm going to say this as well, okay? And Google this, Google it and find it yourself. But 
Octi oxybenzone and octanoxate can also be absorbed by the body and have shown up in everything from urine to breast milk. I'm just pointing that out there to you. You need to know that what these things do, okay? So have a look at them and think, why take the chance? Why not think, let's help the environment, let's help the sea creatures, let's help ourselves and protect the planet, okay? Now, unfortunately, this Vitality Institute, Viderm, they do chemical peels. And again, this is one of these treatments, these um, that's sold into spas and clinics right, this skincare brand, and they're selling it into clinics and saying, right, if you do my peels, you have to also sell my products. It'll be a, a bit like that, okay? I understand that, that's a business, but make the products really all good, you know? Make them with a, a thought to the future, right? So someone having this Vi peel, and I know that they'll be popular um, over in the States, these Vi-Dare peels, if you've had one, let me know. I've looked at it online and they look pretty good. But then to get this product after it, and you have to use 100%, you have to use a sunscreen after a chemical peel because the chemical peel takes the top layer of your skin off and will make you more sensitive to UV light. So you have to use a sunscreen. So you have to put a sunscreen on after it. And this is an easy sell to someone that's just had a peel. So if you go for a peel, do make sure you look for a mineral. If you can look for a mineral sunscreen, that would be the first choice with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. That would be really cool if you could do that. Super Goop have got one. I do like that brand. Some of them have got, you know, just got the zinc oxide in it and that's great. And they do a tinted one, Super Goop, and that's pretty cool. So what do you think? Tell me in your comments below. But here's the thing. Mode, I think, um, probably is doing a couple of things wrong here. One is definitely the toner. I feel that she's probably had chemical peels or whatever and she's this is why she's using some of this obagi stuff i think um and i i just don't think she's doing herself any favors for her skin she's obviously very conscious of the breakouts and what can i say um all i can say is you know the usual ingredients are going to help here salicylic acid is going to help that's definitely something to look at in a serum or you know a cleanser if she can use a cleanser with salicylic acid Alpha hydroxy acids are always good as well because AHAs are going to shed the dead skin cells that block the pores up, but they're also going to make our, our scar tissue from picking our spots. It's going to look much smoother. So I would be looking at AHAs for a glycolic acid, lactic acid, that type of thing. And I would definitely be looking at a salicylic acid as you're using something like that. Moisturizer, you know, a nice moisturizer. Um, and the thing is, if she's feeling her skin dry, once you put a moisturiser on with hyaluronic acid and then you put a sunscreen on top, usually the sunscreen will have a moisturising ability to it too. And that those two things together, a moisturiser, a serum, then a moisturiser, then a sunscreen, that will be enough to get her skin right. It will, it will. So I hope Maud sees this because I think it would be good for her to have another opinion rather than where she's getting this information from. Just saying, just saying. What did you think of it? What did you think of those products? Have you tried any of those products? Please let me know in the comments below. It's always good to hear from you about that. Also, please go onto my Instagram page and have a laugh. I try to teach you information about your skin with a giggle. I do, I do. So go on and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a look at the Instagram and have a good time. <laughs> so look after yourselves. I hope you keep well. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Bye. Bye bye.